Hi, welcome to Cowie's Studio and our instructional video series. Today, back by popular demand, we have one of our very large foldable softbox panels. Now we're gonna try to show you on video how to do this, but keep in mind, this thing is larger than I am. So if I struggle a little bit, try not to make fun of me. Now you'll notice it comes in a carry case, and that case is gonna be large enough to hold the whole panel of the softbox. When you look at the case too, when you receive it, there's gonna be all these slots for some holes that we'll be showing you in a minute, and one kind of larger slot that has a Velcro closed over, that's gonna hold some of the larger items. But you're gonna get several different holes and therefore a lot of options with this item. So once you've taken everything out of that case, you're gonna notice when you get it out that you have the actual softbox panel itself. You'll notice it's going to have the clear side for the light to come through as well as the blacked out side to keep the light trapped in. We're going to set this aside for right now. I want to show you some of the connection poles for this softbox. Now what you're going to get as far as the connection poles go, now I've already gone ahead and pre-assembled these because they do take a few minutes to put together, but we're going to go over the assembly. You're going to get two of these larger poles that have this connection piece already attached, and then you're gonna get center poles that are made to go into those pieces. Now you're also going to receive, with the, these items, a small Allen wrench. It's gonna be nice and wrapped up for you. So when you get this Allen wrench, you're gonna be able to take this out of the packaging, and this is actually gonna be used on these items, you'll notice they have the connection there, and that is going to be how you're able to tighten and loosen those to get the poles in. Now one of the important things to keep in mind when you're assembling this section is that when you look at the reflector connection, you need the connections to be on the same side. You will have some rotation ability to that connection, but if you put one pole with the connections facing one way and the other with them facing the other way, so if I had put together one facing y'all and one facing me, then what would happen is that you wouldn't ever be able to quite correct that connection to be able to get the softbox on. I actually did that when I was assembling these, had to take one apart and put it back together the correct way. I learned my lesson, try to follow my example on that. You wanna go ahead and put it together with the connections facing the same direction as each other, either towards yourself or away from yourself. So once you've done that with both connections, you'll notice, of course, that there is this top piece, and that is gonna be for you to be able to attach one of these connections to. With that, you'd be able to attach a reflector arm or some other type of pole device so that you're able to connect this onto a stand, which is one of the requests we had on the older version of this item. So we have updated this a bit so you're able to do some more interesting techniques. So you could either do it kind of facing like this or keeping in mind that these are probably gonna be flush up against the softbox themselves, probably what is slightly better is to face this over to the side and then you'd be able to run a pole through the holes and have a pole going across the softbox or across the softbox. You'll see a little bit more of what I mean when we show this on the softbox itself. But that is the basic connection of those poles. You'll notice you also get a set of just poles without all these fancy connections. The differences between the two is that you can use this set if you want to set up the softbox kind of quickly and just use, this, use it as a panel sitting on the ground. But if you want to use it on a pole, like I mentioned before, that's where that other set comes into play. So you could use one or both, or you could take off that pole connection and just use those to hold it open like it were nothing. These are just gonna be a little faster, a little quicker setup. So the idea is that you have the kind of longer setup if you want some more versatility, or you still have the fast setup option if you just wanna put the item together and be ready to take a shoot within a couple of seconds. That in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at the softbox itself. When you go to unfold it, First thing you're gonna note is that this is a very, very large panel. So you wanna make sure you have a lot of open area. That in mind, I'm gonna step to the side here. And I'm gonna kinda of just let it unfold itself. Now, like I mentioned, 
this is larger than me. So it can be a little unwieldy, especially if you're a smaller person. I'm actually a pretty average 5'7 height. So for me, this isn't too terrible, but it can be a little awkward to deal with. Now when you look at it, you'll notice you're able to expand it from the side and then you have these side holes. We're gonna show you some panels that can help you kind of reduce light leak in a minute. But that's gonna be the first thing you notice. You can completely expand this so that has a, about a foot or so opening there. And this is where your poles are gonna come into play. So I'm gonna kind of put this long wise so that makes it a little easier to deal with. I'm gonna take this pole. If you look at it, you'll notice it has a kind of tooth connection that kind of gets wider towards the inside. So that is to actually grip the reflector material there, that metal. So get a good look at that connection. That just slides and pops right on. And then when you go and you do that to the other side, like I'm doing right now, then what'll happen is you'll kind of feel it popping into place. It kind of helps if you're able to, let me set that second pole down. If you're able to get it from the outside, connect the outside, and then pull it towards the inside. And once you've done that, you'll notice it pops on pretty easily. If you try to do inside to outside, it's a little harder to get that connection firm. But if you pull it from the outside towards the interior of the softbox, so you're pulling from here, to word here, connecting the outer and then the inner, it goes on a lot easier. It just takes a minute to kind of work it into place to make sure you've got it. Now, so if we did that down here, then I've got one side of this kind of set up and assembled. And then you just want to kind of flip your softbox around. In this case, I'm going to rotate it. And we go to the other side and we do the exact same thing all over again. Now, as we mentioned, you can use the other connection style bracket for this. And it's going to connect the exact same way or interior. Now I'm pretty sure at this point you've got the idea of that, so I just want to show you these panels for a second instead. When you look at these, you'll notice they have Voker around three sides and then one side on the back. So what you can use these for is to kind of connect on an upper edge and side like so. And then because of that velvet or that uh, Velcro right there, if you needed to keep kind of building panels onto each other, you could do so. Or you could use it to kind of bring the closed space in and tighten it up a little bit. It's really up to you, however you would want to do that. It's going to depend on the light source you're putting into the side of these panels. So if you're doing a larger strobe, you need to leave a larger area. If you're doing something smaller, obviously you need a smaller area. So because of that, the amount that you enclose is going to be entirely up to you. So they do include several of those little panels. Now, here's going to be the fun part. We're going to start showing you how to take this thing apart. And fold it back up into the case that it came in. Because let's face it, that's the part that's going to frustrate you the most. You probably could have figured out all these poles on your own because they're pretty self-explanatory and you're a smart bunch. But when it gets down to the folding portion, it can be a little tricky. First thing you want to do is try to make sure you get all the air out of this softbox panel, which is going to kind of automatically take on as you open it and the air is able to get inside. Now, second thing, this is going to look a little weird, but it's the easiest way to get the panel to fold the way you need it to. If you've ever folded the larger background panels, you know that the technique is to put it long ways, grab it and pull it towards yourself. However, if you try to do that with this, it almost always goes down and it's not going to fold correctly. 
but that's still the correct method. So the easiest way to get that is to actually brace the side of one of the panels. In this case, case I'm gonna brace it against the wall. Once you brace one side of that panel, I'm gonna kind of move it like this so y'all can see a little bit better. Once you brace one side, bring the other side in towards you. And that started it correctly at the top. And then you would fold down and the sides come in. And unfortunately, it flipped on me while I was doing that. So let me actually try that one more time. You just want to kind of brace on the side and in the middle. Make sure it folds up. Grab the side and it's going to come down. Side panels come in and it's folded down and it's going to be flat and basically ready to be put back into its panel bag. So at this point, I'm able to gather it up, stuff it back into that bag at the beginning, put my poles in, and I'm ready to leave. Now you'll notice, once you get that technique down, it really only takes a try or two to get it right, but it does take a couple of tries, so go ahead and get and try it a couple of times until you get it. Now if you have any questions about this product or any of our others, please visit cowboystudio.com website.